Hi, this is Jody from Growing Book by Book, and I wanted to take you on a little tour of the reading planner for 2017 and show you a couple different ways that you can use it. So up first we have just a cover sheet. Um, I actually put mine in a clear binder and then slid this in the front pocket. A little note from me. And then this is the reading goals page. This is a place for you to record any goals that you have. Maybe it's weekly goals, monthly goals, quarterly goals, or yearly goals. And then a spot for when you achieve those goals. The next page is a books to read. So this is that page um, to use when you get recommendations for books from other people, friends, family, blogs, um, and you want to remember uh, those titles so that you can look them up later. This is a great sheet for that. The next sheet is books to be read. These are books that you know that you want to read. Um, and you don't want to forget. So there's a place um, to mark when you've read them, the title and the author. Then there's the books to read again. These are books that you've read, but you want to make sure that you read them again um, somewhere in the future and you don't want to forget about them. So that's what this sheet is for. The Our Reading Streak sheet um, can be used a couple different ways. One way would be to just put the date in each box and each day that you um, put a date, if it's a consecutive day, you could color in these boxes and see how long of a streak you could make. If you miss a day, that's okay. Just start the date back up, use a different color, and keep going to see how long you can um, keep your reading streak going. Quotes to Remember is a great sheet for when you're reading and you come across an inspiring quote. You can jot it down here and reference the book that it came from. Then there are several different book logs depending on your needs and the age of your kids. This one is a very simple one where they can just put the date and the title and then give it a five um, light bulb rating on how well they liked it and they can just color in each light bulb. There's a place if you have multiple kids for them to put their name and date too. The next book log is another weekly book log. Again, the day is already written, so this is, works especially well for younger children um, so that they don't have to do a lot of writing. They can just write the book title, or you could write the book title, um, and you could track the number of minutes read. This could be book or books here. The next one um, would work well um, for individual um, children or even if you just want to log all of the books that you read um, aloud to your family. So read alouds. This sheet would work really well for that. This one is also um, very similar to the one before, except there's a number of pages column. And I alternated the colors of the lines, which just makes it a little bit easier for younger kids to, to keep track. This one is a little more advanced. It has a date started and a date completed, so you can track how long it's taking, especially if you're reading chapter books, number of pages, and also keeping track of the... the, the bag? Then we have a series of challenges. The first one is Family Dinner Book Club which is a project that um, I started on Growing Book by Book several years ago. And in 2017, we're doing Around the World Family Dinner Book Club. Each month, we share a title of a book to read with your family. And then we share a themed menu plan, a table craft, conversation starters, and a family service project. So this is a place that you can keep track. You can either do the books that we're doing in 2017 or use any from our archives. And at the bottom of the page, there is a link to where you can go um, to find all those family dinner book clubs. A new project for 2017 is also Cookies and Bookies. This is a monthly event to do with your kids of baking cookies and then reading books. And there's a different theme for each month. So for January, it's um, having fortune cookies and reading Chinese New Year books. Uh, February or Girl Scout cookies and books about women and if you visit the link right here it takes you to recipes for the cookies and also different book lists for each theme each month. 
Then we also have a summer reading challenge. Um, perfect, this is a library challenge. So these are different challenges to do at the library. And then there's a winter reading challenge um, to take you through the long, cold winter months. And you can just check them off as you do them. Um, and you don't have to do them in any particular order. Then there is a sheet of our, excuse me, author birthdays. These are some of our favorite authors and when their birthdays are, so you might want to celebrate those during the year. And then finally, we have literacy celebrations so that you know when all of those fun literacy events are going to happen throughout the year. Library Week, National Poetry Month, uh, Band Books Week, Dictionary Day, all those fun dates have them all there for you. So that's just a look at the Reading Planner. Again, you can download it for free, um, copy it as you need it, put it in a binder, however you want to use it. It's for you to make your reading life easier and to read and enjoy more books in 2017. So thanks so much.